So the tribunal, after the federal government tried to get it dismissed but unsuccessfully, the tribunal finally ruled on January 26th. And what the tribunal found is that for the first time in the world, a developed country, our country, was found to have racially discriminated against 163,000 children, and they were ordered to immediately stop. But they haven't done it. They have not done it. What they have done is released a budget. Now some people say, why aren't you thankful for $71 million in child welfare? Most people would be very happy with that, with their cause. But that falls far short of what is needed. And it also perpetuates this use of racial discrimination as fiscal policy. I have a dream for Canada's birthday. And so do the non-Aboriginal children I work with and the First Nations children. I want to see a country where First Nations children no longer have to spend their childhoods fighting for equity, and a country where everyone knows that that's wrong to give a child less because of who they are. I want to give this country the bedrock of fairness and coherence with its values that it has been robbed of for 148 years. But I cannot do that without all of you. There are many equity movements that all of which are just and important. But as Justice Frankfurter of the US Supreme Court said, there is no greater inequality than equal treatment of unequals. And there are very few groups that experience, in fact, I would challenge to find one group that experiences the type of racial discrimination as fiscal policy that First Nations have been subject to for th for since Confederation. So if you want to make reconciliation real, I think it begins with not saying sorry twice. Thank you very much.